50-year-old Richard Obrero pled not guilty in court today for the murder of a teenager last Thursday in Kalihi. Obrero said he had to defend himself. Jen Benizo follows up. Jen? Joe, court documents say that when police arrived at Obrero's home, they witnessed multiple males shooting a BB gun at the house. Police arrested Richard Obrero after 11 p.m. November 7th at his home on Kula Kulea Drive. According to court documents, when HPD arrived, Obrero was crouching behind a wall. He was wearing a ballistic vest with no shirt on. The officer reported that he heard objects hitting the side of Obrero's home and saw multiple males crouched behind vehicles in a parking lot. The officer ordered them to put their hands up. They complied and started yelling, he shot my boy. Obrero gave the officer his black semi-automatic handgun and told him, I needed to defend myself. Obrero's wife, Nancy, called 911 to report that four juveniles had burglarized their home earlier that day and came back. Court documents also say that Nancy Obrero told the dispatcher that her husband shot one of them. 16-year-old Starsky Wiley was shot once. He was taken to Queens, where he later died. I sat down with attorney Michael Green. He is not representing the Obreros, but did offer them some legal counsel. Apparently, somebody had a gun there besides him. And, and you know, when it's dark out and you see a rifle or handgun, you don't say, wait a minute, is that really a gun? You don't risk somebody in your family getting shot and killed. Court documents say Obreros saw four men breaking into his home earlier that day. So, so if they'd been in his house before that night, and I think the police were called, and they come back, I mean, what's he supposed to do? I think he was expecting them to come back. And I think he thought that he was in danger of death or great bodily harm. The law states that a person can use deadly force to defend him or herself from deadly force if they believe it's reasonably necessary. If people have the nerve to come into your home while they expect you to be there and you're awake, they're planning on doing some bad things. Obrero remains in custody. He's charged with murder. His bail is set at $1 million, and his preliminary hearing will be November 14th. Joe?